you should stop entering your trades here. All right, so what am I talking about? Why should you stop entering your trades here? And what do I mean by here? Well, let me tell you. This is actually a mistake I made as well when I started trading. And uh, it cost me some uh, few blown accounts, <laughs> some uh, time as well. And of course, some emotions because it was pretty annoying. It was pretty stressful. I didn't understand what was wrong with it. And now I will share you exactly what I am talking about. So I know you all are familiar with breakout trading. Okay, breakout trading is a very popular style of trading. And there's tons of traders that do have uh, consistency when they trade breakouts. And I'm not saying it's not a profitable way to trade, okay? So breakouts basically can be traded like this. You can either trade trend line breakouts or support or resistant breakouts, okay? It's essentially the same thing. I'm just gonna, today I'm just gonna focus on support and resistance, but the same thing applies for uh, trend line breakouts as well, okay? And usually, uh, breakouts are traded during early London session and early New York session. Okay. That's when usually breakouts are being traded because that's when the most volume kicks in the market. And because of that volume, you can take advantage of it and trade a breakout either to the up or downside. Now, um, uh, most of new traders, I would say, and that was my case as well. They like to trade breakouts like this. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to focus on the support and resistant, uh, resistance breakout, but this applies for the trend line breakout as well. So this is, uh, let's say a support and resistance. Okay. So what a lot of new traders like to do, including myself, that was me as well. Once they see a breakout above this level, they like to instantly click the buy, place their stop loss somewhere below, um, the resistance level. And then take profit to, I don't know, maybe a fixed take profit like a one to three or a the next uh, market structure level. OK, and um, the problem with this is, is that most of the times if you've been doing this as well, I'm pretty sure you are familiar with it. Most of the times you become liquidity. What do I mean by liquidity? Exactly after this breakout occurs, you enter your buy. And after that, the market just dumps. It uh, stops you out. And from here, it either goes straight up and smashes your take profit, but it doesn't matter because you're already out of the trade or it just fully reverses from here. It just goes down and breaks structure. Okay. These are the two possible scenarios that happen very often. Once you enter your trade like this. Okay. I'm not saying sometimes you will also win. Sometimes you will enter the buy and it will have a super bullish, um, volume and it will go up and smash your target. But most of the times from my experience, this is what happens. And it's, it is pretty annoying, especially when, when it stops you out and, uh, then it goes right into your target. That is pretty, pretty annoying. So now what can we do here? If we know that we should stop entering the trades right here, that's at least my opinion. What can we do? And now I will share with you my opinion on how we can avoid this. I will also share with you an example where you would literally um, would have got stopped out because of this type of entry. So check this out. Right here we have a resistance level. I'm just going to draw a line. Okay. And uh, it's early London session. Okay. So you are looking for a breakout. Check this out. You have a breakout right there. You wouldn't have waited for the candle closure because like I said, once you see a candlestick um, getting past this level, you would just enter. So you would have probably entered your buy here and your stop loss would have been probably around here. Okay. And then you would have aimed for, let's say we would have used a fixed one to three risk to reward ratio. Check what happens next. You instantly become liquidity. You get stopped out. And after that, the price goes lower. Okay. So this is an example of what we just discussed up here. Okay. So now let me share with you the uh, solution. But before I do that, I also wanted to let you know that if you guys want to see the trades that I am taking every single day, you can do that by clicking the first link in my description and joining my telegram group where I literally share 
trade ideas every single day and you will be able to see what trades I am taking. Okay, so feel free to join it if you want. So now let's get right into the solution. Right here, I will share with you the solution. So check this out. Check this out, okay? So the timing is pretty similar to the timing from up here. Again, it's going to be pre-London. It's going to be early London, okay? Um, and check this out. We have a resistance level right here. So we would like to see a break above it for us to enter our breakout trade. And boom, we have it. We have it right there. Instead of entering a buy right here, what I would suggest is wait for a retest. Okay, so let's wait for a retest. Let's wait. Okay, boom, we have a retest. And what I would also su suggest is draw a rectangle around your line. Okay, draw a rectangle like this around your line. And now that you have a retest, I wouldn't suggest entering straight away. I would suggest waiting for one more confirmation. And, then, and that confirmation will come from a lower time frame. I would suggest going on the 15 minute or the 30 minute. But for this video's sake, I'm going to use the 15 minute. And on the 15 minute, you would wait for a candlestick confirmation. You would wait for a bullish candlestick confirmation in order for you to then enter the buy. Okay. So you can see how we are adding confluences in order for us to have a more, I would say safe entry. But again, you will get stopped out trading like this as well. But I do think that it will filter a lot of stop losses. Okay. So let's continue. Let's wait for the bullish pattern. Okay, so we have three uh, bullish candles in a row. That for me is a bullish pattern. So I would enter the buy right here. Stop loss could be uh, uh, below this low or wherever, wherever, uh, wherever you want it. And then on the one hour, um, you can just, like I said, use a fixed take profit or you could, let's say, aim for this uh, structure high right here, which would give you a nice 4.3 risk to reward ratio. And now if we play the market, this actually played out beautifully. Okay. This actually played out beautifully. So instead, um, instead of entering straight away, I mean, in this case, this would have probably been a win as well because your stop loss would have been somewhere here anyways, but approaching it like this, in my opinion, will filter you a lot of unprofitable trades. Okay. Because essentially you, you are waiting for uh, more than one confluence. You are, you are waiting for a retest. And after the retest, you're not entering straight away. Because like I said, sometimes price might just like to do this. It literally breaks out. And then from here, it would literally go straight down. And guess what? If you, if you wait for a candlestick pattern, you won't enter your trade and you won't get your stop loss hit. Okay. So I know there's a lot of people that like to trade breakouts and that's exactly why I decided to, to create this video to share with you my opinion. Because like I said, I used to trade like this as well and I used to literally enter on the breakout and I was getting so many stop losses hit. Of course, I was getting some wins too, but overall I wasn't really profitable. And after that, um, of course, I started to, to look at different traders. I started to, to research their styles as well. And I decided to give this a try, to give this retest a try, followed by a candlestick confirmation. Okay, because a lot of people like to use retests and then place a buy limit on the retest and then that's it. But for me, I think the candlestick uh, confirmation is a added confluence that overall will help you with filtering out bad trades. Of course, you will have less overall trades, but you will have a slightly bigger win rate. And that for me is important. Okay. So uh, that being said, this was pretty much it for this video. I don't want to make it too long. I just wanted to, to keep it straight to the point. And I hope everyone understood what I had to say here. If there's any questions, any feedbacks you want to, you want to leave, please make sure to drop them down below in the comment section. And also make sure you are subscribed to the channel to not miss out on future videos like this. And as always, I want, to fish, I want to wish you all a lovely day ahead and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.